Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys Tread Socks. I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And G Willikers, man. We got Michael Burry's 13 at filing. We took a look at uh, Mike Tyson's butt a couple nights ago. Now we're going to take a look at Michael Burry's brain. All right. Different Mike, different kind of thought process here. We got his 13 at filing, which we only get four times a year. We get to see a little bit of the madness of this infamous Wall Street trader. We'll take a look at what he's holding, particularly for us China stock guys. More importantly, if anyone was mad that he said G Willikers over holy crap, please let us know in the comments. I that was I I hate G Willikers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, so Dylan and I both own Alibaba shares. I also own some JD. I believe you also own some JD. Uh, so does Michael yeah. Burry, you know, the patron saint of modern value investing. Um, but he did something pretty interesting in this most recent 13 F filing. He did increase his shares, right? He, you know, another 45,000, you know, another like 20% of his position they added to the Baba. Um, JD, he actually doubled to, to Double. another 250,000. Uh, he also added Baidu down here, okay? But in, in kind of a little Michael Berry madness, he bought some puts uh, in, in equal amounts approximately. So he had 500,000 shares of JD and he bought 500,000 like, you know, put contracts effectively, right? So it, it's kind of crazy. He's buying insurance, right? Uh, it's almost like he saw into the future and knew that, uh, you know, the Chinese stocks were going to peak and then come down significantly from there. Uh, did he, the same thing with his Baidu position. It could have been Trump winning insurance because Trump winning insurance Baba and JD usually would not do well due to the, the thought of tariffs. So it could have been that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I guess it's worth mentioning in that kind of context is that, you know, the 13 F filing is delayed 45 days. So this is what he held as of September 30th. All right. The third quarter end. Right. Yes. So, you know, definitely pre-election, he was holding these, at, you know, at some point. Now, he also closed out some of his real estate holdings, you know, particularly the, this Hudson Pacific partners here. Um, but the, definitely the, the trade overall, when you look at this, is like he owns three different Chinese equities and also owns put contracts against all three, which is definitely like the, the main logic or thought process behind his current portfolio composition, which is definitely interesting, particularly if we look at the charts here and see how they've done since the September 30th date or the close of this quarter. So this is JD. The white line is September 30th. So all we know is that he owned these up until September 30th. We have no idea what has happened after that. Mm -hmm. But if he's holding on to those puts, the problem is it really depends on when he bought those puts, right? Because if he bought mm -hmm. anywhere down here, he's not doing well. If he happened to buy on, you know, September 30th, then he's a happy man right now. Um, Baba's is a little bit more interesting, though, because, you know, JD, yeah. there's less volume. It skips up a lot. Very, very similar chart. Look at this, man. This We, we were yeah. at like 119, back down to 88. I have a hard time thinking that he did not take some profit here because he's he's not an investor he's a trader remember yeah. this is the guy who 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 emailed gamestop ceo saying please buy back your shares owned it for like i don't know i can't remember four or five months then sold before all the giant crap started happening Absolutely. i would assume yeah. he's taking something i would I would I would be wouldn't be surprised either. You know, we just did a video talking about Alibaba earnings in the most recent quarter, um, and, and certainly it seems like it, in the short run, at least to my stupid guy opinion, that there, there's probably a little bit of a cap. I don't know if we're going to see 119 again until we after we get a significant uh, CCP stimulus announcement. So, uh, taking profits for him there would probably be very wise. But he has held it now for a while, uh, and, and he's only he increased his position in the last quarter, which is kind of cool. But you know what's crazy on, on how we, this could see 120 easy. We just need mm -hmm. one tweet from Trump. One yes. tweet from Trump and just be like, we're going to work with China. Done. I don't, that's not going to happen. But yeah, it would shoot not going to happen. That's all yeah, it needs. Totally. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the, as far as like the, the things I wanted to talk about with this portfolio, that, 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 that's the major trade here is that, you know, long China with, with put protection in equal amounts. And that's as of like said, September 30th, which was, you know, as we were getting towards the kind of peak of that uh, stimulus madness, because it was initial measures were starting to be announced like the end of September. So yeah, yeah, we'll see what it plays out. We will see guys. Let us know what you think. Yep. Catch you next one.